Okay, you're back with the Passion Fruit Walrus. And we are heading off to Dranglayet Castle. Which is... Now I have to think. <laughs> Where the hell is it? Um, that's right, it's through here. Uh, dee -dee -dee -dee. Right. Oops. Okay, so I think it was this one. There's, um, yeah, there's basically like a tower, um, along a path that you have to get to, and, uh, if you... I think it's just straight ahead. Uh, we'll find out. Um, yeah, there's a, a tower that you have to get to. Oh, this might be the wrong way. Uh, right, there's an ogre up here, so we're gonna wanna just try and run past him. Hello, you big fat evil bastard! Get off me, you fuck! Right. Right. Yeah, so there's a tower. Where is there a tower? Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Oh well, let's kill this guy now we're here. Come on, buddy! Yeah. Right, okay, wrong way. <laughs> so much for straight ahead. Yeah, basically there's a path. You um you go along the path and uh there will be a um a tower. And if you go there before your um before you've killed off the the four bosses you have to kill, um the four big bosses, then um, it it just says you haven't got something or you need to produce something, and um, yeah, and you just can't go along there. Right, that's the shaded woods, so it must be this way. All right then. Hey, buddy, not good enough. Yeah. Not so clever now, are you? Eh? Right. remember that I was a trap just after I ran into it. <laughs> uh, soul of a proud knight, human effigy and twinkling tight knight. Nice. Good old knightly souls. Right. Got one of them invisible fuckers down there. Hey, ya buddy. Oh, yo. Right. Come on, then. No. Fucking hell. I got jack shit fucking health. Yeah, now you're dead. Invisible bastard. Ay, ay, ay. Dragon Slayer's Crescent Axe and a Golden Falcon Shield. I seem to remember that the falcon shield is shit. I think it's the one that's actually shaped like a bird, and it's got a bloody big hole in the middle for some stupid reason, which is like the worst design for a shield ever. Um, but I think it's only good against magic. Yeah, this is the one. It only opens once you've passed the right point, and it won't go any further. This... Yeah, I think this is another DLC thing. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I think it's another DLC thing. Or is it? I can't remember. Fuck it, I'm not playing with it right now. We've got to head this way. So this is the way to Drang Lake Castle. You go through that bit and... Uh, 
so forth. Uh, got some goodies there. Soul of a hero. go up into these buggers because they're a pain in the ass. Yeah. Eat that then, you invisible git. Yeah. Bastard. Right, okay. Ay ay ay. No, I can't remember. I think there's somewhere. No. I must have done it already, or maybe I've missed the, the bit where it was. Large soul of name of soldier. Human effigy. Um Yeah, there was a bit. I can't remember where it was now. I can't even remember if I've done it or not. But there's um an area down one of these air sort of pathways, um, past the door where you save um, Rosalie or whatever Rosabeth is it Rosabeth? whatever the hell her name is um, and there's um, there's basically another flexile sentry, I can't remember if I've done that or not but anyway um, there is one Okay, one down, one left, even. All dead. They're all fucking dead. Okay. Oh, I've not got much Estus for this next bit. A holy water urn. I think that ups your magic and stuff. Oh, fuck's sake. Come here, you stupid bug. Oh, come on! Oh, for fuck's sake. Right. So we see her again. This castle is isolated. But nonetheless, you must forge on. To bring an end to your journey and mine. And that's all she's got to say on the matter. Right then. So, there's these two big fucking mastodons, which will attack the shit out of you. Uh, I think I'm just trying to run past them. The gate into the castle is also a bit of a fucker. Um, right, let's just leg it. Hey buddies, bye buddies. Right then. So now then, what you have to do here is kill these guys in front of the giants with the big pots. Try not to get mobbed by these fuckers. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck off! Okay. I think there's like an infinite supply of these guys, so they will keep turning up. And it's basically so that you don't run out of uh, people to open the fucking gates with. Come on then, come here. Should be close enough. There we go. Second soul into the giant, and he opens the fucking doors. The mastodons aren't following me. Good. No more of those guys turning up yet. Fucking hell, you're taking your time opening those bloody doors, aren't you? Get on with it. There we go. There's a few of these uh, statues along the edge as well. They'll um, come to life if you get too close to them. So, we have this charming entrance hall. And we have a little ghostly chappy up here who we can talk to. 
And uh, then we need to go and find the bonfire. Who are you? I in the oh fuck. Yes, I totally meant to trespass. I'm here on purpose. Where has he gone? You are a guest of our castle. I am the Chancellor, Belaga. Do you seek an audience with my lord, King Vendrick? Unfortunately, His Highness is absent. My lord, the King has. Queen has taken him. My lord made magnificent findings on souls. An accomplishment for the ages. He vanquished four great ones and built this kingdom upon their souls. Our king has watched over this land since ages long, long ago. King Vendrick, we must fight back. Or the giants will take Drag Lake. The king had a dear queen. A woman of unparalleled beauty. Long ago, the queen came to us, alone, from a faraway land. She warned our lord of the looming threat across the seas. Of the giants. The king crossed the ocean and defeated the giants with the queen at his side. The king commandeered their power and created the golems. With the golems, the king created this castle to celebrate victory and to show his love, his gratitude to his queen. The queen brought peace to this land and to her king. A peace so deep, it was like the dark. Is this some sort of a dream? Where am I? Who are you? And by whose permission do you stand before me? I don't need anyone's permission. Fuck you. Welcome, visitor. That's more like it. Our guests are treated with honor. This is the way of our castle. Tell me if you should require anything. If I'm a guest, why does everything in this fucking castle want to kill me? Right, so he's got a flamberge and a lucerne that you can buy if you want to, which I don't right now. Bracing knuckle ring, I don't really want that. Magic arrows, lightning arrows, magic and lightning bolts. Oh, those are quite good. Uh, bloody expensive, though. Uh, and a spell. Uh, I'll get one of those, why not? While I'm here. This one's me. Okay. Uh, I think that was it. Yeah, that's... Oh, fuck's sake! The king... Right. So he drops a bit of exposition, and um, I think if you're really keen on um, like platinuming the game, uh, there's some spells you can buy from him. I think in New Game Plus or something, and I think there's a specific point in the game. I'm not sure exactly when it is, but he's one of the people you need to talk to for that, and. Um, yeah. So, now we just need to see if we can survive to the fucking bonfire, which should be around here somewhere. Um, yeah, so sort of down a hall and then past a couple of guys that want to murder me, of course. Right. Hey, buddy. I'm a guest, you ass. Uh, monastery charm. I think it's down that end. I think it's the one at the far end. Um. Uh, 
And I'll open this while we're here. Sublime bone dust. Got a couple of those. I need to use those. Right. Okay. <laughs> I don't think you can open this. No. It's just scenery or just... Oh, crap. That's more like it. Okay. Should be just this guy, and there'll be a... Uh, there'll be one of those little guys with the flamberges and the armour uh, inside this room when we go in. Right. I think he's a statue to start with. Right. Shield up. Not you. I could have sworn they... Oh, never mind. Okay, maybe it's after you... Uh... Oh, right, there we go. It's not until you've... Uh gone down that they wake up. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Right. Oh, he's following me down. Shit. Fuck you. Yeah. Cheeky little backstabber. There we are. There's me lovely bonfire. Toasty warm. Right. Yeah. So, the next stage is this room, which can be a fucker, but it can also be really good for uh, farming souls. This is the door you go through uh, to get to the final boss fight. But we need the symbol of the king before we can get through there. As such, yes. Right then. So, make a start. Right, so these statues will come to life and they'll do it sort of gradually. Like one after the other. Um, not one after the other, sorry. I mean... Yeah, if you get close to them, they'll, they'll come alive. Now, it's the same deal as the main doors. All these doors open, and there are ruined sentinels behind every one, I think. So, you can sort of work your way through them if you're careful, and not just get mobbed and murdered. Um, there is a limit to the amount of times the Ruined Sentinels will show up. You can just sort of keep killing them until they disappear, which can be quite good to do, because you can farm souls quite nicely that way. They give you quite a bit, and if you've got the, um, the Serpent Ring, uh, and or the, um, the, uh, the, well, either of the Serpent Rings, actually, then uh, they will drop a few good things. I think you can get the... Um, I think you can get the Ruined Knight set. And um, they definitely drop quite a lot of souls as well, so... So they are, you know, good for that. So it's basically, you can sort of see the uh, this particular room as a, a curse or a blessing, depending on uh, <laughs> what you fancy, really. Because uh, either it's like, yes, there's shitloads of souls, or oh no, not this fucking nightmare again. Royal Soldier's Ring. Ooh, that's a good one. I want that one on. Um, I can't remember what it does now. I think it ups your stamina, I think. 
it ups something, but it also ups your um your your um your carry capacity. Maximum load, that's the one. Oh, I've got both of them. No, I haven't. Yeah, that one. Okay, good. Carry capacity's up, so now I'm not fat rolling anymore. So I can put uh fuck it. Let's put some more gauntlets on. Right. Yeah, it, the same thing happens with these statues, but they don't seem to do anything interesting. Basically, they just light the room a little bit, and that's it. And you don't really need them to do that. Or at least, I haven't found that I need them to. So this is all they do. I was kind of disappointed. I thought maybe, like, if you, if you get them both, or if you do something else, then, you know, it could be useful. Oh, there's a summon sign as well. Um, I don't need him for in here. I might get him later. Okay, not you. Seriously, not you either. Oops. Okay, other side of the room. Yeah, so basically you just sort of skirt the edges, because if you run, like, right into the middle, or if you end up sort of getting drawn into the middle of the room, you, you'll get mobbed because you'll get lots of statues coming up and they'll all gang up on you and it's a pain in the ass. Now I think right at the end of the room, on the left, there is a, a secret area. I'm not sure if you have to fight... I'm not sure which way around it works, but the, um, the floor will um, collapse and there's a a hidden bonfire, and uh, I can't remember if there's any goodies or not, but that's that's there. That's another hidden little thing. Right. Down you go. Arrow Slockstone, always good to have. Yeah, and I think that is it. These guys aren't going to come up, so I might do that again, but I'll have to do it the next time. Uh, these doors stay open permanently, so you have to be careful, um, like the second time you come in here, what order you, you deal with the... Um, there's the Ruin Sentinels. Uh, right then, I think I'm going to grab that guy, seeing as he's here. And then we'll go up this way. Right, so we'll head through there. And I think we'll do that in the next part. So thank you for watching, and bye-bye for now.